Recently, I've been contemplating starting a fresh playthrough in Baldur's Gate 3. In my previous experiences, I often struggled with a common problem. I wouldn't know how my character would react to certain situations, so I'd have to default to my own choices. This time around, my goal is to fully immerse myself in my character's mindset. I want to delve into their motivations, fears, and aspirations to make choices that are true to who they are. There's plenty of amazing videos on YouTube that focus on the best builds for different classes and races, but I couldn't find much related to creating a character in terms of role-playing and what kind of tone you want to set in your playthrough. So in this video, I want to give you inspiration for crafting your own Dragonborn characters that you can integrate fully or partially into your own creations. Before delving into character creation though, I'd like to provide a brief overview of the lore behind Dragonborns and some of the choices I made for my characters. As many of you are aware, Baldur's Gate 3 is set in the world of Faerun. Dragonborn are a rare sight in this realm, having only arrived within the past century. While many of them settled in the militaristic continent of Tamanthor, others chose to reside in various cities and untamed regions across Faerun. Dragonborn are known for being driven by self-improvement, rooted in their desire for approval and recognition of skills. They value mastery and excellence, often seen as proud and arrogant, but also respectful of achievements from other races. They believe decisiveness was a sign of strong character and look down upon those who are unable to choose sides. The first character I want to introduce is the Nihilistic Scourge. This Dark Urge Dragonborn is convinced that the world is doomed, and feels powerless in dealing with their pain, so they lash out at others. Watching the world burn is their only way to cope. They swore the Oath of Vengeance with the belief that they could bring order to a chaotic world. However, during your playthrough, they succumb to darker impulses, breaking their oath and choosing to embrace evil. Despite their darker nature, they possess a certain charm and charisma that draws others to them. They can be persuasive and manipulative, using their charisma to sway others to their cause or to mask their true intentions. They struggle with inner turmoil, torn between their lingering sense of justice and their newfound embrace of darkness. This internal conflict drives much of their character development and decision-making throughout the story. They are adaptable and capable of adjusting their plans and strategies based on changing circumstances and employ manipulation or persuasion to sway others to their side or to achieve their objectives. That's... that, I suppose. Our next Dragonborn is known as the Dragonforged Artisan. Within Dragonborn society, jewelers, gem cutters, smiths, and minters are highly esteemed. Your father is a successful jeweler who wants you to continue the family legacy. For Dragonborns in particular, their family legacies contribute significantly to their sense of identity and pride. So you set out to Baldur's Gate to gather inspiration and experience to bring back home to Tymanthor. Her actions are driven by personal gain, self-interest, or perhaps a sense of adventure. She may use spells impulsively to solve problems, gain advantages, or achieve her goals. Her decision-making process is influenced by personal gain, spontaneity, flexibility, individualism, and moral ambiguity. The Lightning Sage is a Tempest cleric devoted to Bahamut, with a lineage deeply rooted in connection to the deity. Raised within the teachings of Bahamut in a temple located in El Terrell, she has limited exposure to the outside world and lacks experience interacting with people beyond the temple's confines. Clerics and priests of Bahamut are healers, counselors, and advocates for justice. They use their divine powers to heal the sick, comfort the afflicted, and promote righteousness in society. Bahamut opposes Tiamat, the evil dragon goddess and his eternal rival. Tiamat represents the forces of chaos, tyranny, and greed, and your character has intense hatred for those who follow her. She's curious about the world outside her temple, though her lack of experience may lead to moments of innocence. Her actions are guided by an optimistic belief in goodness and justice. 